Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven and we are up here on Fantasy Island getting ready to celebrate a couple really big updates that have come to the game. I am so excited you guys. And if you remember last time we also talked about working really hard on making Fantasy Island absolutely shine so that hopefully we can enjoy having lots of beautiful new fantasy horses born here. Not to mention there's actual flowers. I mean look at these. Look at these. There's actual flowers that we harvest here to make delicious new food for a fantasy horse. So I'm pretty excited about that too, but there's been a huge update one of which is actually the fact that we have the new constellation horse My birth horse is finally here. It's the Aries. The Aries has returned for the Aries year two constellation horse Look at this handsome one. Not too sure how comfortable I feel about the feather headdress that the Aries has I'll probably be skipping out on that myself this year But I do really love the gorgeous red flowing locks that it has Look at that, look at that, absolutely fantastic. And a really, really pretty view of a desert. Look, you can see cactus. You can see cactus on this guy with the ram horns over here too. So the Aries 2 year two horse is now out and we need to figure out how to breed it. However, I was going to spend the diamonds on doing that today so that we could try to find out which horses we needed to breed to get the Aries 2. But then I found out there's another awesome new bit of the weekly update and this little bit, it actually has to do with the club system. So you guys remember the clubs that we set up a long time ago and I was wondering if we were ever going to do anything with them? Well, they've added in a brand new feature that I think you're really going to enjoy because it has to do with working with your club to cooperatively complete goals and get special rewards. So we're gonna be looking at that in just a moment instead of looking into the family tree for the Aries year two. If you guys already know what the family that you need to bring read for the Aries year two is, please let us know in the comments below. If not, hang tight because we will definitely be revealing the entire family tree next time, even if we're not going to do it this time because I think we're going to have to work just a little bit harder to get a few more diamonds. And I'm really excited about the club co-op event going on. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. But as you can see, I have been doing updates here in the Fantasy Island. So I have upgraded the little, oh, look at it. It's so pretty. In fact, we'll, we'll go ahead and zoom in so we can get a good view of all of this. But look Look at this. This is the gorgeous little flower factory. So this is the flower treats factory where you can take the flowers that you grow here. You can also take some of the items from the other parts of the game, such as honey or apples, combine it with the special water from the beautiful waterfall that we have. And you end up with these delicious treats that are fantasy horse exclusive, I'm pretty sure. So this is the really beautiful flower treat factory. I really, really like it. Look at it. I just get so much inspiration for what I would want to build. I wish I could recreate that in Minecraft or recreate that in our Sims 3 Unicorn series. Oh, it's just so pretty. There's crystals everywhere and these gorgeous arched. Oh, okay, I could just get totally distracted looking at all of that. But I upgraded quite a few of them. I think they're max level now so that we are all ready and all set to work on, um, we to work on getting the Fantasy Island looking really nice. <laughs> Let me try that. There we go. Got to zoom in just a little bit more. All right. And then I have also worked on upgrading a whole bunch of our stables. So a whole bunch of our fantasy horse stables should be almost. Okay, so that's level two. And I think this one's pretty high level. So let's check. Yeah, this one's level four. So I almost have the stables fully upgraded. Any extra money we have is going to go towards upgrading the stables for now. But you can see when the stables get upgraded, they still have this beautiful rainbow behind them. Flowers growing up the side and across the roof. It's just oh so pretty. Pretty. And then you've got this lovely little hedge out in front that continues to grow. Look at it. Look at it. Flower hedges and flowers and just beautiful feed troughs. Oh, and look at that lighting. You can see really beautiful lighting right here too. Like a little tree trunk that has some glowing fruit on top of it. The art is just so pretty. I really love looking at it. All right. So now that we've kind of glanced over those things, I have also worked on dun 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 getting the main palace really upgraded so our main home this time is quite upgraded and i'll grab those little fruit treats you can see there's all the crystals there's the waterfalls the gorgeous stairs i'm just soaking in all of it as complete inspiration for being able to really build something fantastic in our other series it's just so beautiful i just love it i love it so much oh and thank you guys so much for hiring me as your stable hand and i also was champion of the cloud race yes all right 
Let's see. Oh, we've got new messages in our club, especially because the club can now do something. That'll be fun to look at later. Thank you guys, Hannah and all of you unknowns for coming to visit my ranches. Thank you so much for your social breeding rewards. Hannah and everyone else, thank you for petting my horses. And then we've got new videos. Let's see on Instagram. Okay, that's great. But there we go. Look at that. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. This is very lovely. But I have upgraded the farm center um, pretty high. We only need to upgrade it one more, one more upgrade. It's going to take three days to do that upgrade, but I think it's going to be worth it so that we know we've got everything, like our whole palace, as high up as we can possibly go. I also upgraded the waterfall a few times. So I think the waterfall is as upgraded as I can go without spending diamonds on it. Let me check. Yep. I have to wait and earn 150 diamonds before we're able to upgrade the beautiful waterfall to increase its water drop outlet uh, or output. And when you get the water drops, that's what you have to use to make the special fantasy food at the flower treat factory. So I think like all of them from the apple drops all the way to the iced bell flower, the sunny parfait, the honey tower and the floral popsicle require having that base of the water. So you want to be harvesting that water up all of the time, you guys. All right, but if you remember, we did have a very special fantasy foal born last time. Our Jade, Jade, I think, fairy horse. There we go. I knew Ali, Ali, our Jade fairy horse. So he's a little boy and he actually wants some fresh grass. So we're going to be going and getting him some fresh grass from down below. We'll go look at the co op club event while we're down there. But isn't he so cute? So we need a good name for little Ollie here. He is a Jade fairy horse, male. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what I want to give him in terms of a name. Maybe something really simple like Rye, but we used to have a Rye. Rye is a type of of wheat in case you guys were wondering. And let's go ahead and harvest up these beautiful flowers and make sure, whoa, where am I going? No, Ollie, I didn't want to take care of you, help. <laughs> and make sure that we've got some fresh flowers popping up on our trees. Got to start stocking up on them. I need to get our storage as high up as we can go. Storage is as high as it can go right now without spending diamonds to upgrade it because there's so many new items I need to collect. It's a little bit intimidating to be completely honest. And I did notice something really interesting. Do I have any of these foods? So I don't have any of these feed items. Holy moly, they cost so many diamonds to get, <laughs> to give to Goldenrod. But I think you actually get special like rewards okay romeo our plain unicorn here can actually have these um these flowers as food look at him isn't he handsome oh my goodness like you've got kind of a funky muzzle romeo not gonna lie but i'm really excited let's go ahead and feed him a little bit more is that gonna do is that gonna do it Okay, nothing there, but see one time, and I don't know if it's because we, it was a fantasy horse or not, but one time I fed Romeo and I used one of the um, Sunny Parfaits. I got diamonds back. So you guys need to let me know if that's something that happens when you have your fantasy horses and you feed them fantasy horse exclusive items that are from the flower factory. Do you get diamonds back when you feed those special items because if you do that's kind of amazing so we're gonna have to look into that later it looks like we need to get some of the honey tower up and going so hang in there we'll get one for our wonderful horse over here and let's go get some grass for these two horses and while we're down there whoops and i need to clear out our paddock really quickly and while we're down there we will look at the other new update this time around which is the club event and we'll see how much we can help out the club so jumping from our fantasy island back down to earth in Montana. We're going to see how the Montana Ranch is doing today. Huzzah! Hello, beautiful Montana Ranch. Hello, piles of normal things. It's so surreal to come back to our very first ranch after hanging out at the Fantasy Island. I have to admit, the Fantasy Island is definitely one of my all-time favorite places to be. All right, so we'll take care of that. Let me go ahead and tidy up the entire paddock really quickly just to make sure we collect up anything that might be lurking in there. Darn! So we've got lots of coins. And we've got lots of corn, but it doesn't look like there's any diamonds just conveniently left in our paddock this time around. Come on, get the cluster of dirt. Get over there. Editor. Okay, I couldn't get the dirt, and now I'm feeding my horse. This is Oliver. He is actually one of our extra Sagittarius 2s. Uh, Sagittarius Tier 1, Year 2. Oh my gosh, what a tongue twister. And he's actually ready to be sold for diamonds. So don't worry, Oliver is an extra. He is now over level 10. We'll go ahead and release him. Goodbye, Oliver. And now I can get that little bit of dirt. So wonderful. 
And then we've got an American paint. While I have been working on things in the background, I have actually been trying to breed up the tier two American paints and I've done a good job when it comes to Sunny. So Sunny here is a tier two American paint, really handsome, quite beautiful, love the eye colors. And I am trying to breed up a female tier two. So I have two male tier two American paints, but unfortunately I haven't managed to get a female just yet. So hopefully we'll pull that off. Let me go ahead and put down some more grass because I know that we actually have some requests from our horse for grass and I'll get some more wheat down because you always need more wheat. Whenever you think you don't need more wheat, then you need more wheat. So always good to have wheat on hand. And then let me see, uh -huh, here it is. All right, you guys. So I noticed this about last week's update that there was a brand new billboard hiding in the bottom of our little area down here off the road. It's kind of fun because it's like a little town of special items and special shops are just popping up as time goes by in Horse Haven. And I noticed this billboard and finally it is done. And when you click on it, you learn about the special co-op events. So if you pop in and you have a little bit of time, the co-op event, when you feed club horses, your club gets points. Points unlock club gift boxes for everyone. The higher your contribution ranking is, the better rewards you get from club gift boxes. Pay attention, your contribution points will be reset if you leave the current club and join another club. And unclaimed club gift boxes will expire when current events end. Don't miss them. Hint, on the task list, tap in and hold a feed icon to check how to produce it. All right, so we get to feed the horses that are part of our club. We are in the secret garden club. That is the garden that I, or the club that I made. And if we come on in, you can see the horses from other people's ranches are actually listed. And if we accept feeding them with the little, the little challenge we have, then I think we get these special rewards. Like you get the little um, hearts. And I think those hearts add up for the club co-op event. And if we can get ourselves finished task with club members to open the club gift box, if we can get ourselves all the way up to the this like 40, 40 of the hearts, then we get to open the first gift box. And I'm really excited. So we're going to be working with the other members of the secret garden club. I may have to start becoming really strict so that the members of the secret garden club will have to be people who uh, are pretty active because this is really fun. This is really fun. And having other active people participating helps to show it off to all of you guys. So so somebody has already contributed a ton. I am really grateful for that. So let's see if we can help out too. I definitely think we can accept this one. Feeding the wee little guy. Can we can we accept this? This one's pretty easy. And then I've got the I've already got the soybeans ready so we can feed. <gasps> Look at that, all right. And then just like that, look at that. And now you can see who's been contributing the most. That's so cool. Oh, that's so fun. And I can just go down the list. So we have um, Mama Mad, who has been contributing a ton. And we also have Jasmine, who has contributed quite a bit. And that's really fun. And then I can refresh it for 36 diamonds. So it looks like you can come back every four hours to do another task. And you probably want to pick the highest task that you can accept. Uh, this is is the first time I've done it, so I'm learning this. I'll go ahead and refresh it. There we go. So spend a few diamonds, but I'm trying to show you guys the new stuff, so it's okay. So I would say we would want to look for the things that have the highest output, and you can actually get some diamonds too. All right, so it looks like six, 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 eight. Oh, there's an eight. <gasps> you guys, there's an eight heart one. Oh, let's do that one. And I think all of these horses belong to our club members, which is really cool. So let's see, six seems to be the highest. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can help out our club. Let's grow our club by giving them as many reward points as possible. This is really exciting. So this one's eight. I can go ahead and accept that. We can go ahead and feed. And look at that. All right, now we're at 34 out of 40. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh again. And then we just need to get a six and then we'll be good. So yeah, we just need six more points and we can get the first reward. This is so cool. So let's see, if I do this, I can actually get some diamonds back. And that's so fun. Yeah, everything is six, 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 eight. There's another eight. All right, let's do the eight. So we're gonna go ahead and accept this and we're gonna go ahead and feed. And now, did we do it? All right, I think I opened it. Or I wonder, uh, finish to open the club gift boxes. So I think I did it. Oh, plus question mark and then a little bit of money. Okay, and then all right, so I'm not sure exactly what you get times 200%. Huh, so I think if you just keep going, then you get to open up multiple boxes. 
So we'll have to see how that works out. If you guys have an idea, let me know, because I think maybe we got the thing. I'm not sure, but we definitely contributed to the club. So now every time I log in, I'll be popping over and it looks like primarily things like uh, cherries, soybeans, a lot of green feed. Holy moly. So you want to be getting a lot of green feed going, guys. Look at all of this green feed. The radishes, there's a bit of the wheat. So it looks like a lot of wheat, radishes, and green feed and grass is what you really want to have on hand right now. And then, yeah, just pop back in every four hours, see what you can do, and then maybe we'll be able to push our club to be able to get all the way up to the seven. Who knows? I'm not sure if I opened something or not while we did that, but that was really cool. Okay, so that's how you take care of your club. Oh, and look at that. There's all the grass. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll put down some more grass. Now that I know the green feed is needed, that means I'm also going to want to get lots and lots of green feed constantly going in the background. Green feed's pretty easy because it's just grass and wheat. Always got enough for grass and wheat. Let's see, let's do this. And then a little bit more. In fact, I should probably just have <laughs> tons and tons of grass and wheat. And then I'll gather up all of that grass because I happen to remember that my fantasy horses really want it. So there we go. And then let's go ahead and breed up some horses because I know you guys absolutely love seeing what kind of cute babies we may have. So we're gonna breed Sunny and Sarah and we're gonna cross our hooves that hopefully we can get a tier two female painted horse. We are our American paint, excuse me, because as you can see, we have a two tier two, but they're both male. So now we're combining Sunny and Sarah and we're gonna see if we can get a, another tier two. This one. I need to be female. Yes, this one would be a female. Come on, queen. So we want the pink, you guys. We're cheering for the pink. Come on, pink, please. I'm begging you. I could really, really, really benefit from... No! All right, we didn't get the pink, but that's okay. We still got a breeding reward, so that's pretty fun. All right. Well, I'll accept that, but that's really fun. And then I think there's a special place I can go. I'm trying to remember where can I go to see my club? Um, my little club icon. I'm trying to remember. Did the club thingy vanish? Cause I, I can't remember how to see my club. <laughs> oh no, I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible club person. Um, um, I could have sworn. Oh, and then thank you guys for reminding me that actually you guys may be super active, but not have the Fantasy Island open yet. I forgot Fantasy Island cost uh, gemstones to open. So I apologize if I unfriended you because uh, I thought that was just an easy way to weed through people who weren't active anymore. Totally egg on my face with that. So I'll try to get my Facebook up and going properly and explain to you guys how we can be friends. We do have to be playing on Android devices. You can't be friends if you one person's on Android and one person's on an Apple device. That's just not the way it works. I don't remember how to check my club. <laughs> oh no, and I feel so bad because I really don't remember how to check which club I'm part of. And I am part of a club. It's somewhere out there. Somewhere, somewhere out there. Um, I just don't remember how to, how to get to it. So that's a little embarrassing. Here we go, we found the club. The Hidden Secrets Club, it does have a max membership. Let's pop in. We'll take a little look at it. There we go. And roaming around in here should be some of the members of my club. Look at this. All of their little foals are trotting about and you can pet all of them. Very cool. You can get a little bit of extra money. You can do little photo ops with all, all of them. Very nice, very nice. There's a little foal just trotting past just there. Gosh, they're cute. And then you can see a list. Yeah, there's the tasks and the rewards. So I wonder how you claim the rewards? Huh, because honestly, 200 gold is not worth it for all of the tasks we just did, but maybe like that's why the experience and the money is supposed to be worth it, but that's still pretty low compared to just being able to use it for your own animals. So I don't know about how that's supposed to work, and I would really love if there was a way where I could visit with my uh, club members. Oh, hello there. Hi, what you doing? What you doing with your big, beautiful wings, huh? And then I guess this is just like a little look -a -loo. Okay, so I'll get there. Uh, overture, interesting. Pro chain, I'm not even sure what some of these things mean. And then you can just jump from horse to horse. All right, so it looks like there's new things going on with the club event. So we'll keep an eye on it, you guys. But all right, and I think the last thing that we will work on today is trying to breed up a fantasy horse. So we're gonna jump over to our fantasy island and we'll send this cute little girl off to go walk around and level up, level 10, and then we'll be able to sell her for diamonds. And let's go up to Fantasy Island. 
I love how often Horse Haven is updated too. And I really hope that that co-op event will turn out pretty cool. If you guys have gotten rewards from it, please let me know what they are so that I can kind of have an idea of what we can expect in the future. All right, and the breeding house is empty here. So let's go ahead and we are gonna jump over to another person's ranch. Uh, Marcella, let's see, first person, uh, ooh, Christian here has Fantasy Island. So let's see if there's any fantasy horses here. Oh, there's some fantasy horses. Oh, this is so cool. The way that they surrounded it with the little fence. I like that. Oh, I love how they did the columns. <gasps> I totally want to do that. The columns with the ferns like that. So beautiful. And then what do we have here? We have the lava unicorn. Let's go ahead and we are going to breed the lava unicorn female. Her name is Siren with one of my horses. And I've got goldenrod or Romeo. Let's try goldenrod. So goldenrod and Siren, the lava unicorn, are going to try having a baby. And there's a chance that it could turn out to be an amber fairy horse like goldenrod. There's a chance it could turn out to be a mythic level lava unicorn like Siren. Or there's a chance they may end up having a entire different kind of baby with the onyx unicorn which would be very exciting to get my hands on so personally I'm cheering for either the pink or the blue but let's go ahead and see what kind of full we're going to have dun 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 keep going keep going <gasps> yes oh my gosh oh my gosh okay next time we're gonna be celebrating with the birth of a baby lava unicorn wow that's exciting <laughs> That's really exciting. Thank you, Kirsten. Let's give all of her horses a pet. That's very, very thrilling. Got to make sure everybody's pretty happy. And yeah, so next time, guys, we will look into what the Aries 2, uh, or I should say the Aries Year 2 horse requires. And we will also be meeting and greeting our baby lava unicorn. And hopefully, oh yeah, you know, I almost forgot all of that running around. And we need a new name for adorable little Ali. So hopefully you guys can come up with a cool name, something to do with greenery that would fit our little baby boy horse, Ali. So lots done today. Somebody wants a little bit of the mythic water. I have got plenty of that to offer you, my friend. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.